In this video, I'll be solving May 2018 question 6, part A. In this question, take the value of pi to be 22 over 7. The diagram below not drawn to scale shows the cross-section of a circular metal disc of radius 21 mm. A square hole with sides 6 mm is located at the center of the disc. Part 1. Calculate the circumference of the disc for one mark. Now circumference is given by the formula C is equal to 2 pi r. And from our diagram here, we could see that our radius here is 21 millimeters. They also told us to take pi to be 22 over 7. So substituting into the formula here, this is 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 21. Multiplying this out, I'm getting here a circumference of 132 millimeters. Part 2. Calculate the area in millimeter squared of the cross section of the disc for two marks. Now, in the diagram they gave us here, this is the cross section of the disc. Now, in order to calculate the area of the cross section of the disc, I have to find the area of the circle and subtract the area of the square hole here. So, I can write here that area of cross section of disc is equal to area of the circle minus the area of the square. Now the area of the circle here is given by pi r squared and the area of the square is given by side squared. We know pi here is 22 over 7. The radius is 21 millimeters. So we will square it. The side has a length of 6 millimeters. So we will square this. 22 over 7 multiplied by 21 squared. This is 1386 minus 6 squared is 36. Subtracting here, I'm getting a value of 1350 millimeters squared. Part 3. Given that the thickness of the disc is 2 millimeters, calculate the maximum number of discs that can be constructed from 1000 cm cube of available metal for 3 marks. They gave me a conversion factor of 1 cm cube is equal to 1000 millimeter cube. So I will write here the volume of the disc. is equal to the cross-sectional area multiplied by the thickness. Now, from A part 2, we calculated here that the cross-sectional area was 1350 millimeters squared. So I will substitute this value in here. 1350 millimeters squared and our thickness here is 2 millimeters. 1350 multiplied by 2 here is 2700 millimeter cube. Now I want to convert this 2700 millimeter cube to cm cube. So 2700 millimeter cube and I will use the conversion factor, 1 cm cube is equal to 1000 mm cube. So I'll write here 1000 mm cube is equal to 1 cm cube. Millimeter cube will cancel with millimeter cube. 2700 multiplied by 1 cm cube is 2700 cm cube divided by 1000. This will give me 2.7 cm cube so therefore 2700 millimeter cube is 2.7 cm cube now i will take this 1000 cm cube of available metal and divide it by 2.7 cm cube to find the maximum number of this that can be constructed from the material so i will write here maximum 
number of this is equal to 1000 cm cube divided by 2.7 cm cube. I'm getting here a value of 370.37. Now you cannot count and incomplete this, so you have to round down. So this is 370 this is a maximum number of this that can be constructed from the 1000 cm cube. Part B. A globe is a scale spherical representation of the Earth. The actual length of the equator is 40,000 kilometers and is represented on the globe by a piece of string of length 160 centimeters. Part 1. What length of string would represent an actual distance of 500 kilometers on the globe for one mark? So I write here 500 kilometers. And to do this conversion, I know that 40,000 kilometers is equal to 160 centimeters. So I'll write here 40,000 kilometers is equal to 160 centimeters. Kilometers will cancel with kilometers. So this is equal to 500 multiplied by 160 centimeters divided by 40,000. This gives me a value of 2 centimeters. Part 2. The distance between Palmyra and Kintec is represented on the globe by a string of length 25 centimeters. Calculate the value of PQ, the actual distance in kilometers between P and Q for 2 marks. So, I'll write here 25 centimeters. And I know that 160 centimeters is equal to 40,000 kilometers. Centimeters will cancel with centimeters. So this is equal to 25 multiplied by 40,000 kilometers divided by 160. So therefore, PQ is equal to 6,250 kilometers.